Hi, this is Jay in the Backyard Woodworks, and today I'm pushing pixels into pixel strips. And um, so we made this we made this block to allow the uh, the uh, Boscoya strips to slide across it. And because I bought square nodes, it actually gives me a nice place to put my thumb when I'm pushing these in. So no need for the um, pixel pliers. It's actually pretty comfortable it just slides on here really easily and um, just trying to make sure there's not too much of a twist in here that one did kind of have a twist to it but they're just they're just popping right on in like this unwind into the strip if it's if you're pushing a bunch of pixels and you're concerned I guess there's two ways of looking at it. One is you can pay less for more pixels and um, go through the hassle of trying to um, push them all in. I hear people are having sore thumbs and stuff. This is not causing me any pain. This is a 50 foot string of lights. And they are just popping in this real quick, painless. If you can get these um, square nodes for um, similar cost to the round ones, it might be worth it for some of you that have um, sore fingers, sensitive fingers. Maybe, maybe you're like me, you work in an office and you don't have a bunch of callus on your hands. And, um, haha, <laughs> the joke. So I only have 18 of these to do, and um, it's taking me more time to unwind the spool of uh, strip than it is to do anything else. These things are just flying in these holes, basically. Now, I'm no, by no means am I saying this is the way everybody should do it. What I'm saying is if you can get these square nodes for the same or equal cost that you can get a round node from, I would suggest maybe just doing these. These did come from Daniel. They are X connectors. And just like that, I have pushed in 50 pixels. There's the X connector at the end, and we're done. Cool. I will put on the um, clip we made right here, so I won't lose any um, little bits. This one goes at the bottom. So I can skip one. I'll put the two zip ties there. It'll poke through and I'll cut it off right there. Then the retainer clip will slide on and figure that part out. 